Hi, this is John Johnston, president and owner of Irrigation Accessories Company, better known as IACO. In this video, we're going to be discussing boomback automation. What is boomback automation? It's controlling the boombacks leading and trailing on your pivot, no matter which direction it's traveling in. We're always turning off the leading ones and turning on the trailing ones all tied in to your pivot control system. That's what we call boomback automation. First off, we're going to be discussing wiring the valve commander and signal converter to the tower box. Next, plumbing the valve commander to the valve assembly. Third, how to pre-assemble hose booms for a manifold. Be sure to watch pre-assembly of the hose boom for complete hose boom assembly instructions. In this video, we're just going to be showing you how to set up the hose booms to adapt to a manifold. You can find it on our website, boombacks.com. Just go to Technologies, Dry Wheel Track, scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you'll see that video. And lastly, plumbing the hose booms to a valve assembly with a manifold kit. The valve commander is a DC latching solenoid. As most of you know, your pivots are going to be AC. So it is extremely important that you install the signal converter in between the AC tower box and the DC valve commander. Connecting the valve commander to the signal co converter is fairly straightforward. All wires are color coded, blue, red, and black. Just connect those to each other. Now when you convert connect the signal converter to the tower box, you want to pay special attention to the coding. Your particular machine may not have this code. That's why we tell you what each one is. Yellow is the safety return. White is neutral. And brown is forward contact. Here's a picture of the valve commander and the valve assembly all installed. We always refer to clockwise as forward. And red is for your forward controls. We color code the hoses and we also color code the connections on the valve commander. And blue is reverse or counterclockwise. Now let's talk about installing the valve commander to the valve assembly. If we're going clockwise, which is forward, red connects to the red outlet on the valve commander. And the blue connects to the blue outlet on the valve commander. And the black is the upstream. This is the supply that allows us to run the valve commander. Now the manifold hose kit for forward is going to connect on the red side. And the manifold for the hose kit in reverse is going to connect to the blue side. We're going to get into the manifold and how to assemble that in just a minute. But right here, this is what we call the valve assembly. We send this piece all completely assembled as it is. This is your connection into the closest outlet to the tower box. Now here's a video and we're going to show you how to set up the hose booms for a manifold. Two clamps, hose cutters, and here's the two different connections you'll need. A T and an elbow. Some WD-40 is always handy and we used a nut dr uh, driver on the end of a impact. Slide the clamp on up over the steel tubing. Now pull the hose out not really tight, but to give it a little bit secure, because you, if you watch the other video, you'll see why it has to pull the piece up into the torque clip. Now cut off leaving about four inches of hose. Now it's important to remember spray that with WD-40. You'll thank us for that. It'll be a lot easier to assemble. We just spray a little bit on the end. Insert it into the hose. Make sure you cover all the barbs. Once that's inserted, before you let that kink out, slide the screw clamp back over the barbs and tighten securely. 
No need to over tighten it, but you want to make sure it's snug and make sure it's over the barbs. That's the best way to insert any clamp. And then you let it slide back and the clamp holds it from pulling in. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other one. Slide your screw clamp in a little bit over the tube just to keep it out of the way. And now the T, you want to have the, the bottom piece of the T is the one you're going to insert. So you have the two ends uh, 90 degrees from the boom. Again, pull out the hose so it's snug. Cut it off, leaving about four inches. Then insert the bottom end of the T. Again, covering all those barbs. Now take the screw clamp before you let it undo itself and tighten it up snugly. Again, making sure the screw clamp is over the barbs. Now you're going to release it and let it pull back in and the screw clamp is going to hold it from pulling all the way in. And that's different than if we would have set it up for a traditional boom back where you would have inserted the hose kit. We have a hose kit that is uh, made specifically for the manifold and we're going to show you that in a minute. So if we're doing a four boom back in each direction installation, here's what you're going to have. Now in between each one of these where the green arrows is pointing is where you're going to have hose making up the manifold. These two outer boom backs have the 90 degree barbs on them. The two inner, that's the T's, which we also have a T on the hose kit for the manifold. And that hose kit is specific to the manifold. It's about three feet long. And that connects to either side of the valve assembly, depending on the direction of travel. Here we have it once again. Now you'll notice that clockwise forward is red is tied to the forward valve, which actually activates the trailing boom backs. And the same for the blue reverse, it's the reverse valve but it controls the boom backs on the opposite side. Now we're going to show you why that is. The red line activates the forward valve. As you can see by that red travel of the water, it activates that trailing sprinkler, which we call the forward sprinkler, although we are heading in clockwise forward direction. But that's because we're creating a dry wheel track that you're going to drive through. And the same holds true for the blue. Once that fills, and it's because that 180 degree hose kit brings it back to the trailing, the reverse sprinkler. And there you have it. There's the directions and how to set it up. And if you need more information, you can always visit our website at boombacks.com. And remember, water less, grow more with hose booms by IACO.